Good evening, beautiful animals. I am really happy to be here and um, share what's been coming up this week, something that is, I think, pretty fun that I've been playing with. And um, yeah, hopefully you'll love it too. And I want to speak for a minute first about um, just what I've noticed doing these videos week to week for several months now is that they really don't get a lot of views and or likes for that matter and and I'm totally fine with that because I'm like creating a, a library and archive of um, animal power animal meditations for people to find on YouTube if they're searching for that and I just love to do this so it's like no big deal um, if they're not like getting traction in the kind of like sense of like success that we think of um, and I want to just speak to like that, the whole thing of the internet and the vibration, the space that when, when we're online and we're, and we're seeing something that's maybe slower paced or like dropping into ourselves, that, um, that can be challenging to actually sit and like go in. And so if you've made it this far into this video, I'm going to invite you to like really sink into this, that it found you for a reason, you found it for a reason, and that there's something here for you. So, and, and in this moment, you know, so often I know I'm, I do it all the time, like, oh, I see somebody's video and I'll watch it later and I have a whole backlog of saved links that I'll go through at some point. But if you're watching this right now, then right now is the moment that this information wants to come to you so trust that, you know, and drop in for a minute and let yourself receive what's here because it is medicine. It's soul medicine. And so um, I want to welcome you and thank you and, um, and just, uh, yeah, invite you to like be present with this experience, even though it is in such contrast to maybe the space that you've been in, in, in the online world up until this moment. So let's like shift gears, slow it down, come into our bodies and center into something that's maybe unique in the online space, but um, I trust that there's a reason that this is coming through and just because I don't have like millions of likes and views for power animal meditations, that, um, that this information does find the people in that perfect moment that it's meant for. So that's the space I'm coming from. I just wanted to kind of like give this one in particular a little preface because it is, um, yeah, it does feel special to me. And I also want to give a shout out. I tagged the artist of this gorgeous painting behind me. It's huge. I can not even fit it all on the screen. It's seven by seven. There's the top of it. And it's called Courageous Heal Healer, Courageous Healer. And Ryan, our friend who painted this, um, we have it here um, in an effort to um, find someone who can give it a permanent home. And so if you or someone you know is looking for this um, piece of artwork, then, uh, you know, Ryan's tagged in this. So you can get in touch with him directly. Part of the, um, the sale of this is going to go to his friend's project for clean water in Africa. So um, we, are, we are dreaming and visioning that this amazing, amazing lion will find its forever home soon. And i um, going to have Ryan start working on a piece soon for us to have permanently here as well. So hooray for power animal art. Thank you, Ryan, for the medicine that you bring into the world. It's phenomenal. And um, wow, there's a big spider running across the floor. Spider medicine coming in tonight. So um, yeah, I am uh, very pleased and honored to have something more for all of us with the cosmic egg. And this is, um, it. maybe you caught the meditation for this uh, maybe a month or so ago, but it, um, is this uh, animal that's a power animal in the ether. So not in our dimension, but in a different dimension. And it's portrayed this gorgeous rainbow egg with a serpent wrapped around it. So hold that image as we go into this. And you can drop in, close your eyes, come into your breath, and just 
feel that receptive part of you, that curious part of you, what is here to receive in this moment? What is so special about you joining this space, even though it's slower pace than the rest of the internet? So actually, really, I invite you to really stick with this one and come all the way through it and see what's here for you. And so I'm going to start by visualizing the cosmic egg just above your head. So um, just like a couple inches off the very center of the top of your head. And you can picture it sort of hovering there, this egg and the serpent, and the colors. I sort of see it as like the colors are like, um, like fading in and out and kind of like swirling around. But however it looks to you is totally good. And that serpent and the egg are both sort of like slowly twisting in a clockwise direction just at that center point of your crown chakra. So just bring your awareness there and feel that slow turn of the energy that this unique animal totem is bringing to you in this moment. And then bring your awareness to your heart and just feel like anything that's going on in your heart right now. Breathe into that space. And then you can drop your attention down into your root and feel that very tip of your spine right at the base. How does that feel right now? How's your root doing? Can you feel it connected to the earth, grounding into the soil below you, however far away or however far down it may be? And now, you may have noticed a theme if you've watched a couple of these animal videos. <laughs> There's um, this uh, way where we often have something kind of like out in front of us that we're like, um, you know, wanting to create or wanting to bring into our lives. And so, once more, I kind of invite you to hold a vision out in front of your heart of like, what is it that you're really feeling called to like do or be or make happen in the world? Like, what is that thing that is just really pulling at your heartstrings, pulling you forward into just expanding into your truest self, your most authentic self? What does that look like? And, and who who does it touch or what does it touch? You know, is it is it related to other people? Is it related to animals or elements in nature? What is that thing that you're called to create? And just visualize it in front of your heart, whatever that looks like. And feel your desire for that. Feel that longing, feel how there's this part of you that knows that like you aren't really um, in integrity fully with who you know you're, you can be. And that that's okay. You're just holding some awareness of like, oh, and then there's this thing too that wants to come through me. Wow, there it is.
And now with the support of the cosmic egg, so we're kind of skipping around a little bit, but you can follow, I know you can. <laughs> so, you know, kind of back up to your crown where the cosmic egg is. We're gonna ask for a little support in this moment to bring forward this beautiful image that the cosmic egg gifted me earlier this week, the thing that I said I've been playing with a lot. And so the gift to you in this moment is to visualize just under where the cosmic egg is hovering. So like right on top of your head is a beautiful flower that's starting to bloom. And so just picture this flower, its petals are, are opening up, and again, that cosmic egg is still turning, that, that sort of motion is like bringing this flower to life. And you notice that this flower has a very deep inside. It just goes down and down and down, all the way past your heart, down your spine, and to your root. It's a very expansive, long flower. And now with that flower image, solidly from the crown of your head all the way down to your root, that thing that you're holding out in front of your heart, whatever that is, whatever you're desiring, invite that image to transmute into animals that are pollinators. So that could be like bees or hummingbirds or moss or wasps or even bats. Maybe your flower blooms at night. <laughs> so like what are those pollinators and just sort of see like whatever it is in front of your heart just watch it like poof into like the, these animals. And then they are so excited to come and feast on the sweet nectar of your flower. And so invite these pollinators to come up to the very crown of your head, right under the cosmic egg, and allow them to just drink and collect the pollen And really breathe into this. Take a couple of nice deep breaths as you're picturing these pollinators coming to this flower on the crown of your head. And I invite you to really start to allow yourself any emotions that come present, any sensations that come present in your body as this is happening. And, and if you find yourself, you know, kind of like it's not working, I'm not sure about this Aria, like, just kind of come back to the images, come back, you know, to your heart, your desire, what you're, what you're called to, and then this image of the flower, and just see, just see if you can just feel the flower to start. And just kind of stay with that. And then, if you are really feeling these pollinators receiving this energy from you, because really that's what it is, it's, it's another form of the energy of love, and if you want, you can even picture it as that emerald green light that we've been working with, that they're receiving. Like feel their joy and gratitude, you know, whatever they represent, if it's people or nature, or 
whatever they are in your vision, feel how, how like amazed they are to get to receive you. Like really receive you. What a gift that is to them. And so I'm going to invite you to stay in this space and I'd like to sing a chorus of a song by Nako Bear. And it's a prayer from Hawaii. So just allow the vibration of this song to enter your experience however it wants to. Aloha, aloha, kea kua, kea kua. Aloha, aloha, kulehana, kulehana. Aloha, aloha. Kea kua, kea kua, aloha, aloha, kulehana, kulehana. Each day that I wake, I will praise, I each day that I wake, I give thanks, I give thanks. Each day that I wake, I give praise, I give praise. Each day that I wake, I give thanks, I give thanks. And so just feel those pollinators really coming all the way down your spine, really reaching for that energy that's all the way at your root and just pulling it up and receiving that. And take another couple nice breaths here and if you'd like, you can kind of visualize the pollinators transmuting back into that original vision and let your heart connect to it. Or you can keep them as the animals and kind of play with that image, play with ways that you may encounter those animals in the next coming days. really offer my sincere and humble gratitude to the Cosmic Egg for joining us on this journey and for the instruction and the guidance to bring this particular gift through to you. And you're welcome to stay in the space longer, make it your own, adventure into it deeper if you'd like. And if you are ready to come out, I invite you to thank the Cosmic Egg however way you would like to. And when you're ready, you can flicker your eyes open. 
and thank you so much for being here. Lots of love to you, and just want to really thank you for being a part of my community and following this journey. <laughs> so, ah, hmm. you're welcome, Ken. I love you, honey. <laughs> All right. Have a good night, everyone. Lots of love.